What's good everybody? It's your boy Ghetto Styles coming back with another video. And I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't the video that I wanted to make today. There's a lot of people that seem to be having problems with the update. Some people are saying they're missing plugins. Some people saying they can't find some things that they're used to seeing. And some people are having problems with the installation. So let's go ahead and get into that and see if we can kind of clear some of this stuff up. Follow me. Alright, so right here we have the MPC-X and we have the MPC software and the MPC-X is in controller mode. Most of this stuff will translate into standalone, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first thing I'm noticing is people saying that they're missing plugins. Not the new plugins, the old plugins. Hype Sam, Selena, Mellotron, Odyssey. So let's get straight into it and I'm going to tell you what you're missing. In most cases, the plugins that are missing are due to user error. Let's go to our menu. We're going to go to our preferences. Um, I've had to tell several people this. So we go to activate plugins. So now you see you have all of the new plugins. And a lot of people say, well, I don't want the new plugins. I only want the old ones back. All right, that's fine. Let's get into it. All you have to do is scroll down and boom, there are your old plugins. Once you scroll down, you will see those old plugins and there will be an icon right here to download those plugins if you need to download. They're already activated. All you will have to do is tap download and you will get your old plugins back. Now, also, additionally, to adding these plugins like this in standalone, if you want to do the same thing in controller mode, you now have to use Akai's new content manager. Now, if you download and install the new content manager from Akai, which is inside your Akai account, you can use that to install all of your plugins that you say might be missing. And in most cases, these ones listed here, Hype, Selena, Mellotron, and Odyssey are the ones that people are having problems with. And as you can see, it says install to the right of that for each plugin. And also, as you can see, you do get the computer installation for the software version and the standalone installation for the plugin version that you can use in standalone, but you will have to download and then drag these to your hard drive or SD card storage location. So hopefully that clears that issue up right off the bat. Now the next issue that I've seen a lot of people complain about is pad coloring because pad coloring has been removed from the menu. So a lot of people have been having problems trying to find it or they say that since they've got the update pad coloring isn't there. So let's go ahead and fix this issue. So on the home screen, you want to make sure that you're on a drum program track or a key group track. And I'm going to show you this on a drum program track. You simply hit the pencil icon as you would change the name of the drum program and pad coloring is now right there. Boom. And now we're right back to pad coloring. So pad coloring is not missing. It has been moved. Now, the next thing that I've seen people complain about is some of the VSTs. So first, we're going to go to the inserts. I'm going to tap insert. I don't have an insert there. We're going to go to a blank insert. So the next thing I want to talk about is the plugins. So we're going to go to inserts. I don't have anything here right now. We're going to go to add inserts. We're going to go down to harmonic. Then we're going to go to air music technology. We have the amp sim. Diode clip distortion air flavor and I've had a lot of people say well I don't have the granulator no more. Where's the granulator? It's missing. They left the granulator out Absolutely not. They did not leave it out. We're gonna go down to Akai professional And then we're gonna go down And here is the granulator I'm gonna tap that Put it on the screen so now you see we have the granulator it has been moved 
Some things have been moved around in this new update. They are not missing. Now we're back to the main screen. The next thing I've had people talk about is some of the old legacy plugins that people may have owned. Um, I've had a few people say that their plugins won't load. So I'm going to go to plugins. And this is just the, the old browser way. We're going to jump in here. Um, I'm going to go down to VST and then Air Music Technology. Now in Air Music Technology, as you can see, I have Baseline, which is one of the old plugins, the DB33, Electric, the Fabrics, we have the Hype Sound, the Mini Grand, um, those are some of uh, Velvet. These are some of the plugins that people were saying was missing. So let me load Velvet up. Now that we have Velvet loaded, I'm going to pop it out and put it on the screen. So as you can see on the screen, Velvet is working. And if I play it, it does have sounds. I can also go through presets and pick a random preset. So Velvet is working. Now, in this case, being that this is an older plugin, for the people who are saying that these plugins are not working, and I'm going to switch to another one while I'm speaking, the DB33. But for the people who are saying these plugins are not working, being that they are older plugins, it might be a possibility that you may need to update the plugin in order for it to work. I have many plugins, but I do update my plugins regularly. So you might want to look to see if you need to update your plugins in order for them to work with the system. Um, that's the easiest way to make sure that you're you're compatible with everything anytime a new update comes out. And as you know, sometimes when updates occur, older plugins become obsolete and discontinued. Now here is the DB33. That was so loud. But as you can see, again, this plugin is working. And I've had a lot of people complain that for some reason the plugin disappeared and they do not work. I'm, I don't understand exactly what's going on with that, but I do not believe it's an issue with the software. It could be, but I kind of think that it might be something else. Now, for the record, I am using a iMac Pro. And my iMac Pro is updated to 12.4 Mac OS Monterey. I have a 3 gigahertz 10 core Intel Xeon processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and a Radeon Pro Vega with 16 gigabytes. The first thing that I would do in the case that the older plugins don't load is check to see if there's a possible update that may remedy that situation. Again, most of the complaints and the issues that I've come across that people have brought up to me have been user error some people couldn't download the new plugins or the old plugins and i helped a few people and it was due to their internet connection and some people simply forgot to do a step during the installation process but for the most part i've helped a lot of people get through this issue and hopefully this will help alleviate some of the things that people have been going through so none of your sounds none of your plugins are missing they just might have been moved to a different location. And that being said, I hope this helps solve a lot of problems out there. Feel free to leave me some comments to let me know if you have a different issue. I'll see if I can help fix it for you. And until the next video, which will be very, very soon, I'm out.